gonna be a squat. So you want your feet just a little bit wider than the hip distance apart. Tuck that tailbone under, draw your belly button in, think tense all of your abs, roll those shoulders back. You're gonna take a big inhale as you lower your hips down, exhale left. Ready? Let's go. Lower and lift. Inhale and exhale. As you lower down, you want your knees to be tracking in line with your toes. All right, y'all, so I'm prepping my dinner right now. It's only two o'clock, but I just worked out. I did an at-home workout, which you guys probably just saw. Um, and I just wanted to prep all this stuff and cook it while I'm like icky, you know what I'm saying? Sweaty and stuff. Um, Cause once I take my shower, I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna end up taking another one if that's the case. So um, I'm just doing rice, broccoli and peppers. Like you guys know I'm vegetarian. So, you know, I am trying to do no bread. I'm trying to do no bread all the way until Thanksgiving, but I'm at least definitely trying to do it, not trying, going to do it. Um, I'm going to do it to where no bread throughout the whole week and allow myself maybe bread on like Saturday or Sunday or something, if I do do that. Because like, I know I can do it, but it's just getting more and more difficult as we get like into the colder months, you know what I'm saying? But it's okay, I'll figure it out. Cause I was like, oh, but you want it tacos. How are you gonna eat tacos? Girl, you can eat it with lettuce. Like, so don't give yourself an excuse, I guess. So maybe that was an excuse. And maybe I need to stick with what I just said of no bread till Thanksgiving. Cause I know I'm gonna go ham on those damn rolls at Thanksgiving, so. Okay, y'all, um, I'm looking like I just woke up, but that's not true. I've been up, y'all, I went to sleep at eight o'clock yesterday. I'm looking real, hold on. There we go. It's like it's a teddy or whatever, but it's really not. It's an actual dress to wear out. But then I was looking at it and I was like, I wonder if people think that it's literally lingerie and maybe I shouldn't wear it out. I know that's the that's what it's supposed to be, but it does like does the material look a little bit too i don't know so anyway i just after i took my shower earlier today this morning today is thursday by the way i don't know if i said it today is thursday september not september what it is thursday october the 19th i think girl i'm gonna put it on the screen y'all if y'all hear that noise it's because they are completely remodeling let me take off my AirPod. They're completely redoing and remodeling. And it's just, the noise is just taking me. Redoing and remodeling. Um, not our apartments, okay? That would be too great. They're, cha they're, you know, money hungry. And they're turning all of the garages and covered spaces. Sorry, y'all. Y'all are really going to hear the noise in my bathroom. Because literally, they're right there. They're turning all of the garages and covered um, parking spaces and carports into studio apartments what so basically where we park at they're turning that area where we park it into studios and we're still supposed to have parking but it's pushed back into the sidewalk some but right now because they're doing all this working we don't even have parking here at our apartment which they are now waived because we got on them like mm -mm, unacceptable you all will be waiving our parking fee because we're having to park on the street because like we can't even park in our space and I wouldn't even want to because they have all of this debris and stuff. Y'all, I'm like a real booby. Okay, girl. Literally, this is a look. Like, if I had me a little datey date, hold on, let me let me give y'all what this is supposed to get. If I had me a little datey date and there was my red nails and a red lip with my blonde hair, like, what, ma'am? Yeah, this is definitely a look. I think I might take myself out um on saturday yeah we're booped up i would have to put um y'all please don't mind this real quick i gotta put another nail on but um 
Let me hold in my boobs. But, you know, I need to put some boob tape and then I would be up here. And then I would have more of my torso. But um, she's giving me body, okay? She is giving, y'all can't even see because of how I have y'all propped up. But this dress is giving body. I'm not getting rid of this dress. Let me not mess it up because I'm always in my bathroom bleaching stuff and end up with bleach on stuff. So, hmm. Um, so, yeah. I am working. I'm about to uh, schedule a few emails to go out. And um, then your girl is going to do just some quick errands. Y'all, I don't even have... This is going to be too big for this nail. Fuck. I knew that was going to happen. My other nail literally broke. And for some reason, this red pack of nails that I got from Amazon didn't come with a lot of the extra um, sizes. Like, this is going to be looking crazy. Hold on, let me see. Well, when I flatten it out, it doesn't look too bad. Not too bad. Hold on. Mm. I don't know, because that one's definitely wider. But then this one is too wide. But, um, yeah, so in the middle of my sleep, I guess I did something crazy with my nail. And that's just going to be too big for that. Like, that's going to be crazy. It's like the only two nails that I have left are either the thumbnail, which I could put on my middle finger. But I feel like it's going to look a little weird. But I got these from Amazon, and y'all, I'm in my red nail era. Like, I've never been a red nail person, but, mm, okay. Um, I don't have any product in my hair, but I kind of want to show my hair, because I'm just going out to run a few errands, and you'll never know who you're going to meet, okay? So, um, yeah. We need to go to Dollar King, because I need to get some lashes, because I love me and lashes, y'all, the little strip lashes, so I'm going to get some lashes. Um, which are very inexpensive from Dollar King, which is like the dollar store, but better y'all. I need to get some nail glue, glue and see if they have any, like any press on nails that I can get. Then I need to, I wanted to wash my car, get a, get a little cute little car wash and then, um, grab something to eat. I haven't eaten at all today. I've been trying to lay off bread. Um, but I do think, cause I got on the scale and I, and I gained two pounds, which is probably water weight. Um, but it was because I've been eating a lot of pasta because I haven't been eating bread. Okay. So I feel like I might as well just eat my bread and be full for the day. And then instead of eating all this pasta, like, I don't know, that's my rationale. Um, cause we just can't undo our progress and we need the body to body. I really need to lose probably about 15 more pounds just in my, in certain areas like here and here. My overall goal is like 30 more pounds, but 15 more pounds and I feel like I'll be feeling like myself again. Um, anyway, so I need to, I've been talking for six minutes. What have I even been saying? I need to wet my hair real quick. I've already, the thing is I've already showered and put on my lotion. So, um, do I want to get in the shower and put in my curly hair products? Or then I was thinking like maybe I should just protect my crown. But then I'm like, no girl, like you know, you might want to put on a little something. Like I don't know why I feel that way. Like I feel like you just, you know, need to be cute. But I don't really have that much curly hair products. What are we gonna do, y'all? All right, let me let me jump in the shower real quick. I'm not gonna like actually take another shower and wet my body. I'm just gonna do my hair products. Then we're gonna get dressed. So I'll be back. Okay, y'all, hopefully you can hear me. Um, hopefully it's not fuzzy. Okay, boobs. <laughs> um, we are heading to do our little errands. It feels good to just be out because with all that work that's been happening at my apartment complex, because we're having a park on the street and I haven't been wanting to lose my parking space, I literally have just been staying in the house. Like, the only exception was me going to work. Um going into the office or whatever yesterday 
but I've really just not moved my car. <laughs> so, which is also why I've been eating more like pasta and stuff like that because I haven't gone out to get any food or whatever. And I was like, Casey, that's so fucking dumb. Like, you'll find a parking space. You, it's not like it's downtown LA, you know. It's just very inconvenient that I'm having to go through all this, to be quite honest miles. with you. Turn right. Um, Red light camera ahead. So, yeah. And then my car mount, which mounts my phone and stuff, keeps... Sorry, y'all. These bumps are just fucking ridiculous. Um, these car mounts... Um, I notice it's taking me a lot longer to stop. It probably definitely is my brakes now that I need to be mindful of that. I need to take my car actually back to the dealership to really figure out like if it is the brakes, but they're thinking that it's my rear brakes and stuff like that. I just need to find someone who does it inexpensive because one thing about it, two things for sure, I'm not paying a dealership for it. Like, mm -mm. your girl is not, uh, <laughs> Uh, doesn't have tons of money yet you know what I mean so where I could just be like okay yeah here is $1,500 to do that you know and I don't have a luxury vehicle yet um, so you know it's you know just a Nissan <laughs> um, not that that's bad or nothing but you know um, so it's not like with my brother's Tesla where he has to deal with Tesla you know um, I knew I shouldn't have gotten over here because what in the fuck? <sighs> Pet Boys is right here. I need to call them and see. But I feel like they're also expensive. I don't know. To see if they do, like, um, do they just do tire stuff? I'm pretty sure they do alignments, which I was told at the car dealership that I would need an alignment. Um, but I do need to call them and see what other things, services they do. It says auto services and tire. So maybe. Um we'll figure that out anyway I'm just kind of talking out loud but yeah your girl is I've officially become the girl that like likes beaded um bracelets and stuff like that like I don't know I don't have like the crystal-y ones um yet but yeah I just kind of like the stack now I don't know I've really gravitated toward I know you're gonna I really gravitated toward this um, jade bracelet that I got at Smorgasbord one time. It has a butterfly on it, and um, it's not expensive or anything like that. I think I paid like $5 or $10 for it, and low-key, the little beads, I think, have turned. But I don't know. I just gravitate to wearing it. I just really like it. And then these other two bracelets I got from Dollar King, like, maybe about a year ago. But yeah, so I've already been talking for three minutes, but just wanted to kind of clue y'all in on what the deal was. We're going to Dollar, Dollar King to get some eyelashes. I think I took a picture of the eyelashes that I really liked. So I'm going to get some of those nail glue. Um, I'm going to see if they have any toilet drop-ins because I low-key need those. Um, so I'm going to see if they have that. And that's it from there. And then we're going to go get a car wash and then get some food. Like that was literally, oh, and I have to stop by 7-eleven so um it doesn't have to be 7-eleven actually so i'll after leaving one of these stops i'll see what it could be uh walgreens like what is happening anyway y'all let me concentrate because i don't know what's happening out here i don't know if i passed it no i don't think so i think it would tell me if i passed it what is happening what is this like yeah why are we at a standstill at a green light all right, y'all. <laughs> okay, y'all, so we're back at the house. Sorry I couldn't like actually go in the places with y'all. Um, I was actually pressed for time. My um, supervisor needed me to do something for him, so I had to get back home. Um, hold on, let me wash my hands. My hands feel gross. We did we do everything we needed to do. Hold on. We did do everything we needed to do. I went and got me a, some food. I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. I've been doing good. I went and... Oh, he just messaged me. I had already sent it, but okay. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I, this is my first meal of the day. I'm not gonna beat myself up over having some bread. I've cut it out substantially and yeah, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna flip out. <laughs> this is all trash. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get my ducks in a row. 
like my mom says. Okay, so we did go to our do our errands just quickly. Got our car wash, got some food, went to Dollar King. Um, so let me show you guys what I got. They didn't have any good nails, press ones. They had like very long nails and like these, I do medium size. So I got me some Reese's printing cups because I've been on a Reese's kick. Sorry y'all, this is the outside noise. Like it's nothing I can do about it. Moisturizing foot mask because I haven't been getting a pedicure. Um, first of all, I mean, it's just pricey. But second of all, like I could do it myself. Like low key, high key. Like I feel like I do a better job exfoliating my feet and um doing my scrub and stuff like that it's just you know sometimes you just want somebody else to do it but yeah i'm doing it myself got some more nail glue these are only like a dollar got some more cotton pads um okay he's still sorry y'all he's still messaging me so i gotta get back to work in a second um cotton balls and i need to shred that I got these cute little earrings, just like little gold, um, like little cute crystal-y earrings, you know. You know, nothing expensive or whatever. <laughs> and then these are my favorite lashes. I'm going to put them on in a little bit. From Amour Mink Lashes 3D48. Y'all, they look, I don't know if you guys can see, they are fire, okay? So I got five of those. And those were each, I think one one dollar or one ninety nine or something like that. So yeah, that was everything I got. I'm about to sit and eat real quick and get back to work. Just wanted to pop on here and show y'all my stuff. But period, we did it in such a like quick time frame. And all I got was a sub from Subway. Um, so yeah cookies or nothing like that so i was proud of myself he was like oh you sure you don't want so and so it would only be this amount and i was like no i'm being good y'all my total was 9.99 9 9.99 the heck like and he even like i could tell he's into that sort of thing the guy in subway i don't know if he was the owner or what and i think he was and he was like uh Oh, wow, 999. You need to pay play the lottery. That's great. That's great luck. And I was like, I know, right? And um, he was like, yeah, and you got a penny back. Like, and the penny came up on um, pay. So I think it's going to be a great week. Great week. Well, I said week. Rest of the week into the weekend. Like, it's going to be a great weekend. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to get back to work, y'all. I got to get back to work. So let me just tell y'all what happened. Um, I may have to put on my glasses actually. So, I don't know, all of a sudden my eyes started really bothering me. It was like very irritating. So, uh, I had to like rip off my eyelashes. Yeah, it's like something on here on my contact. Ooh, my eye is hella red right now. <laughs> Good intro to the vlog, huh? Yeah. Um, I feel like this is the fucking glue from the eyelashes coming off. I love the look of the eyelashes though, but it's like, It doesn't look that red right now, but it kind of, my eye kind of hurts. So I feel like I need to put on my glasses um, to let my eyes rest. Ooh, that was, that was a little excruciating. I'm not going to lie because I couldn't actually get my contact out because it was burning so bad. So I don't know if it was some parts of the glue or whatever got in my eye just now, but hmm. <laughs> so... What we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to, I don't want, even want that contact anymore. So I'm going to uh, squirt some solution 
and I really need to put my glasses on. So I think I'm gonna take out this contact. And the glue is stuck to my eyelashes. <laughs> I'm all to pieces, y'all. Um, this is my left. I like kind of fold it in. rest I actually I'm supposed to take these out every night I never do I sleep in them I do the shit that I'm not supposed to do <laughs> I know that um, so we don't have to go to our glasses it's so weird to wear my glasses Ooh, I'm dizzy <laughs> I look crazy as hell anyway um, we're about to why I came on here is we are about to um, try on our stuff from Shein. I got this big ass package. Um, Y'all, it feels like I'm in a fishbowl. I'm so sorry, like, <laughs> I gotta sit down. I'm actually very dizzy. Um, what is that on the floor? What is that? Oh, string. <laughs> Y'all know I don't like weird shit on the floor. Um, okay, so. I'm gonna prop y'all up right here <clears throat> with this oh, lint. All to pieces. I opened up the vlog. Happy Friday, okay? Real chaotic. Okay, let me sit down for a second and then we're gonna get started. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. I have this huge, huge ass box from Shein. You know, when I go to Shein, I rack up honey. Okay, that's why I really need a sponsorship deal because your girl really does do this, okay? So, um, for Halloween, I, you know, I love me, like, y'all, around the house, like, I'll have a little something obviously on, but, like, when I'm in the comfort of my own room, your girl is just, you know, she's naked, okay? But, um, you know, I thought this would be cute for around the house and, you know, seasonal because it's Halloween, so it's these little boy shorts and they have skeletons on them. And then my favorite thing, which made me buy it, which is little, this little crop top and it has the little skeleton hands on your boobs. Okay, very. So I got that. Um, I got two bags. I thought I got more bags than this, but I didn't. This little bucket bag, which I thought was really cute. Um, just simple. I think that was like six dollars five dollars you know the stuff on Shein this is why I can't listen say what you want but this is exactly why I cannot like not shop on there okay um I got this cute like I don't know if you guys can tell but it's different textures it's like a pleather material and then like an actual material it's super cute y'all only gonna be able to fit some cards and a lip gloss okay but really that's all you need okay period um if you were on my TikTok or Instagram story, you saw my other Halloween costume that I'm creating. I'm not gonna pull that out because I just put that over there. So yeah. Um, the interesting thing is I'm doing this for the sake of the vlog because normally I like to pull stuff out of the package as I go so that I know which package it belongs to, if that makes sense, in case I have to send it back. But anyway, you know, it's for the, it's for the vibes. It's for you, for you guys. Um, I just got this really black long cardigan because I needed one because um, I do go into the office now two times a week and just because like you know it's good to have to put on with some leggings or whatever so it's just a simple really you guys know I'm short I'm 5'3 so that thing is going to be all the way probably to my ankles but we'll see what it looks like on um I hope y'all got a beverage or whatever if not go ahead and pause it right here because your girl is not even when I tell y'all a box, a box full of stuff, okay? I got, oh my gosh, it's a thick dress. Oh my gosh, yes. What size did I get in this? I got it in a, um, 
zero uh, extra large it says zero xl so does that mean a 1x or an extra large i don't know but y'all you know i'm losing mad weight so i sized down plus i wanted this really body con and i knew that it was going to be a stretchy fabric like look how much stretch you got so if i would have got a you know a, any higher of a size like it wouldn't and really hopefully this is this will fit me good but it's just a um Oh, this is going to look so good on my body, y'all. I'm so excited. And I got some boots from Target. Um, it's just a gray dress. Just a gray, like, sweater dress. I am going back home to the East Coast for Thanksgiving. So I was also wanting a couple of pieces to be able to take for that. Uh, your girl doesn't even have a carry-on because my mom has my carry-on and my sister has my medium luggage. So I'm really just going to be packing in a weekender bag. Like, I'm not buying another thing of luggage. Like, I'm not. So, um yeah i'm not doing that um so i all these new people i've never seen before okay so ooh, i don't know oh fuck <laughs> y'all this is the first time i'm pulling this stuff out this is a 1x i should have got a two maybe because this thing well i don't know with some Spanx, we might be able to make it work i don't know y'all I may have to turn, take this back. We're going to keep the faith because, like, it's not that much stretch in here like I thought, but it's just a black dress mock neck. And um, I think this is the one with the split on the side. Yeah, it has a really high split. And I thought this would be cute. I really want to get some Doc Martin, So I want some, like, utilitarian style boots. I do have some boots. Like I said, I got um, a pair of boots from Target and then a pair of black heels from Target um, the other week. And so, you know, just thinking fall. Obviously, I live in California and it's not going to get super, super cold um at least not like how it is on the east coast or whatever it's not like we're getting snow or any of that type of stuff but i wanted stuff for the season you know i got this dress which i'm hoping i did size down in this um because i was like girl you don't want it you want it to fit you know what i'm saying what size did i get in this i got i don't even know where the thing is hold on i got it in a 2x um so I actually got this in a true size, but no, 2X ain't 2X in. Like, should I have gotten a three? No, I don't know. It just, I got to put it on my body. Like, this is something that I normally wouldn't do, which is try it on like this. But yeah, so it's just, you guys know, I love a sheer moment. I cannot wait to wear this. Oh yeah, I think it's going to be fine. Because like, if I can, hold on. Oh yeah. Yeah, if we can get it over the boobies, we're good. So it's just this sheer dress. Look how cute. Okay, I just needed some more like sheer stuff. I need some more dresses. Like your girl was just needing some stuff, honey, okay? So we spent about $400. Um, uh, uh, uh. I thought this was black and white. <sighs> See, that's what I don't like. That's what I don't like. Cause what is this? This is cream or something like this looks like I washed it. Like, it's pink. I was so excited about this dress. And I'm so mad. Hold on. Now, first of all, this is giving medium. I got this in a 2X. Yeah, this is going to have to go back. Because, first of all, y'all, I don't even know if y'all can tell. But this is like a peach. A peach and black. Online, it was a white and black, which was fire. But it's like this, yeah, I don't, mm -mm. there's like no stretch to this. And I was really excited about this dress. This is a mini dress too. So more than likely, sis is going back, okay? So we're going to put her over there. <clears throat> and, you know, for a while, what I was doing was I was, um, buying two of everything because my size is fluctuating i was buying like one in one size and one in a bigger size you know so this one is a size 2x and um oh, i'm really hoping i'm really hoping that because i was i really wanted this dress y'all it's another sheer dress but it has a little lining inside and it's super long um and it looks like that like so cute I just hope that because what happened the last time I ordered from Shein is I ended up having to send a whole bunch of stuff back because of the sizing girl 
I needed some outerwear pieces, okay? I don't have any, like literally any. Like I don't have any coats, I don't have anything, but sweatshirts, which are too big. So I got this teddy coat, which I've never owned a teddy coat before. And, oh, it's not as long as I thought. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I don't know. Can y'all see? It's not, well, I mean, well, actually I'm short. So this actually might be perfect. I don't know why I was like, just, yeah. Cause I'm, si I'm sitting down and it's to my ankles. So I feel like this will give me what I need. But I also have to be mindful because, you know, teddy coats can look a little like matted. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it to look matted or whatever. So, or like dirty or cling to stuff. So I gotta make sure that this doesn't give, cause this was like $30. Cause I needed outerwear pieces. So we'll see about that. Um, I'm really excited for these dresses though, because I, I really hope that they work. Also, I got this leather jacket. I'm hoping it really fits because again, I don't have any outerwear. This is actually very good quality. like, And it kind of gives you crop vibes, but on me because I'm short and I have a short torso, I think it's going to fit me perfectly. And I'm here for it. I did get this in a 3X because it's a jacket and I just wasn't sure like the stretch capacity and stuff and plus knowing that I would wear stuff underneath. So picture this with like that um, gray knit dress, like any of these like mesh dresses I could put over top and give it like a rocker look. Like, yeah, I think that that's gonna work. Um, okay, let's see what else we got. So, so far the clear return is gonna be that black and peach dress because if I showed y'all the picture, you'd be like, yeah, it looks white. Um, you guys know, you know, I love me a little sexy moment. So I got this little um, faux leather bra from, um, obviously from Shein. And uh, I think it's just one size. Oh no, this is a size 3X because I got big tatas. So I know that this isn't still gonna fit me, but we're gonna show a little cleavage. We're gonna have a little booby moment. Put this with jeans and some boots or some heels or something. I think that'll be sexy. So I got that. Um, you know, like you'll be like, really what took up a lot of the price of my stuff was the outerwear stuff because this was like $70 for both of those, which is hella good because some people will spend $70 on one thing, you know, like, so that's why it's like great if you put it in perspective, but, um, this, what size did I get in this? I did this in a one X like, yeah, I think it'll be fine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so don't be so deceived. Like, this is a 1X, and I know you're like, Casey, like, what? But y'all, I know the materials for the most part, and I knew that this would stretch. So I think this is gonna give me perfect body con of what I want. It's a mock neck, but it's sleeveless, so I really like that. This will be cute with, like, a leather jacket or no jacket at all, and then it has splits on the side. So, period. Um, mm, my nose is itching. We're gonna get us something to eat today. Um, I was gonna cook, but I don't feel like it. We might have to go to Subway or something. Um, all right, and then I wanted to do something totally different because I was like, I want something cute, but like, so picture this also with the leather jacket or whatever, with a cute little bralette if I wanna wear it out. But like, I thought this was a cute daytime. It's an actual skirt, but it looks like a flannel shirt tied, but it's a skirt. And I think it's gonna fit pretty cute. Yeah, it's a good amount of waist bandage. This is a size 2X. And it's gonna, you know, it's gonna show um, show some leg, but not show too much. We got like five or six more things, y'all. I told y'all this was a long one. Um, hopefully y'all like this. Drop in the comments if y'all want me to do more of these like little haul videos inserted into the vlog. Um, if you want to see this on my body and stuff, check out my TikTok. Definitely it'll be on there. But I don't know if I'm gonna create a separate video here on YouTube. I might. Okay, so this one, let me see how much stretch is in this. Not a lot. Hmm. We may have to wear some Spanx. Because I did get this in a 1X as well. Um, this is the Shein Basics. So this one is a mock neck, but it's a long sleeve black dress. And you know. So you guys know I love my black stuff, okay, period. So that's that. What is this? I'm 
about to try this on. It's like a faux leather shirt. It's actually not the, the quality that I thought it would be, but it's like a little crop thing and it kind of crosses right here and shows a little bit of midriff. I think it's going to be cute. Yeah, it's a good amount of stretch in it. What I'll do is I'll just put the, so what I'm doing is like all the bags of stuff that I think I'm gonna keep, I've put over here and the things that I'm iffy about or for sure gonna return, I'm putting over here. So really it's only two bags in the maybe return or the return area, um, which is good for all the stuff that I got. Like I got some black tights to go with my costume. Um, so those are sitting over there too. And like I said, all of my jewelry that I got, I've already put away, so. Um, I just wanted a cute little white top, but like girly, not like a regular t-shirt. So I really like the way that this looked on the model. And I felt like I can like dress this down with some cute distressed jeans or I can dress this up and elevate it. But you can't go wrong with basics. So if you, you know, if you're not really into a whole lot of, of stuff um, or don't like a lot of pattern, shop on Shein for basics. Their basics are very inexpensive and pretty nice. All right, this dress I got in a size 2X. Um, let's see, okay. <laughs> Let me see how this thing, okay. Sorry y'all, it's like, it's one of those dresses that has a lot going on. I'm gonna have to look at the picture too, cause what is happening here? This might end up having to go back, cause I mean, it has some stretch, but not a lot. And it like it's a lot of crisscrossing. It it covers the boob area, but then in the midsection, it shows your skin. So I'm just gonna. It's hard to show that one. Sorry. <laughs> Check my TikTok. Okay, support your girl on her other platforms. You will see what these look like on me. I did get this black, uh, you know, leather skirt. I already have one, but I don't like the look of it. I wanted something a little edgier. So I got this one in a size 2X. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It has, I like the zipper and I just like how it's plain. And I just felt like with some tights, it could be cute. We're gonna put that in the maybe return because I don't know if it's gonna fit us. Um. I needed some socks. Yes, they have socks. Y'all, they got everything on Shein. So I got some no-show white and black socks. Um, so yeah. And what is this? Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. Uh, can y'all tell, like, I've really been, like, into, like, the leather pleather latex vibe? Oh, no. This needed a lot more stretch. This is definitely going back. Oh, hell no. What size did I get in this? I should have known better. This is a 1X, yeah. This, look at this small ass dress, y'all. No stretch, okay. Like, none at all. This could have been actually really sexy, but this is a definite return. So, let me go ahead and put this back over here. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. So potentially like three or four things we're gonna return possibly, hopefully no more than that. Um, Cause I was really excited about this package, but yeah. So that was that, a lot of, <sighs> I'm worn out <laughs> and I haven't even tried any of this stuff on. So um, I'll pick back up with you guys when we leave. Like I said, I'm not gonna be doing too much. I, the subway is right down the street. I was really considering going to Target to, what did I need to get from there? I don't really know. I have some stuff in my cart. I really don't need to spend no money, but I saw this cute little wig. I was thinking, hmm, maybe I could wear a wig with one of my little outfits for Halloween. But then I was like, no, I really want to wear my own hair. Um, and I needed some, I don't know. I just wanted to go to Target. I wanted to try on these boots too, but I don't need to buy them. So that's the thing. But we're definitely going to go get some food, um, which will only take a second. So, but we'll pick back up in a little bit. I'm going to check some emails clean this up um i really need to try some of this stuff on and then we're gonna go okay okay y'all hopefully you can hear me um we are right down the street heading to subway uh, this light is ridiculous i absolutely hate this light especially at this time because it's noon and sorry my air is probably hella loud um there was a big a truck in front of me, so I couldn't actually go. 
yeah one thing i've expressed that i do not like about california is that they do not have they don't have lead greens so you're just at the mercy of traffic i'm gonna have to park back here literally doing the absolute most um I don't know what's occurring yeah just hang on one second sweetness um reserved for what did that say i don't know what this is reserved for private property easy row something literally going to start I mean not Starbucks subway so I think it's fine anyway it's a lot going on if you can't tell it's a lot all right so let me read this line because one thing about it two things for sure the girl is not gonna get towed I have like the dropsies today make sure in a little skirt situation. Okay. Let me see. This space reserved. Oh. Uh, um. Under a fast food. It's Utility center. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna be fine. Cause yeah, we're just gonna make it quick. Cause I don't know. What is this doing? Cause I really cannot figure it out. Anyway, um, child, they're doing the absolute most about recording in my wax lounge I mean the wax lounge that I go to because the way it's set up is like what am I really gonna be recording and I feel weird because like I don't really want to like that but like They are capitalizing on Jada. <laughs> they got her front and center. Y'all, why is Target turning into Walmart? Like, first of all, all of the self-checkouts are out of commission. They got two lanes open. Target is not targeting these days. Like, I don't know. I knew I shouldn't have come to this one either. Should have went to another one. Because this is, this is taking a girl. Ooh, child. Um, but yeah, take it. All right, y'all. So we have been back home for a while. I'm keeping y'all up this way, but we're trying. I'm trying to figure out my swimsuit for tomorrow because I have that beach event that I went to in the last vlog, um, which was basically last September. Last September <laughs> in September, um, it happens every month. Um, so this is the second one. So, I'm trying to figure out my swimsuit. Um, so, I have these that I've never worn. I got these. Here's the deal. When you guys are looking for swimsuits, 
shop off season so obviously i live in california so they always have swimwear out but like these bikini bottoms were 25 dollars regular price i got them for 12.50 like girl i'm not paying 25 dollars for these um and normally like this isn't even my style but i just really liked the um the color scheme like the pinks and the orange and the like green so I don't know, I'm thinking of that. Obviously the only thing that I have like top wise I can go with it is a white top. So I'm thinking possibly that. It's two different textures. Sorry y'all, my window's open. It's two different textures, but I don't think that matters. Like, I don't know. I'm thinking that might be cute because when I was in Palm Springs, I did the this set. I got these also on clearance from Target. These are more like hipsters and these I think are more of like a brief which I never even tried these on. These look really big but I feel like they'll fit. So I don't know that's what I'm thinking about and then the only other swimsuit that I have y'all that is brand new because I haven't been shopping for swimsuits because I was like I went crazy for a while and I was like Casey you don't need any more fucking swimsuits. Um so this is the only other swimsuit that I have that is brand new, also from Target. Um, and originally $15, but I got it for $4.50 for the top. And I think the top and the, or no, that was just the top. And then $4.50 for the bottom. So in case you guys, focus. In case you guys are interested there's the details so then I have this one so I think it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow I think I actually really like this because I think it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow so the only thing that I'm hesitant about is this I knew it when I got it is this like I don't know if these are gonna like stay plant I don't know why they make stuff like this got these earrings from um Shein. Will it focus? It's like multicolored, and I just feel like that would look cute together. So I'm gonna do that. Y'all have I have not been able to go to sleep because obviously you hear it. Um we'll be complaining to them on Monday because I literally, I think I'm sleep deprived. My sleep has been horrible. My brother couldn't put up the curtains, so I still don't have my curtains up. I'm gonna have to hire somebody to do that. But low key, high key, I'm like so feeling away about this place that I really don't wanna do anything permanent because <laughs> the way I'm feeling, I'm like, God willing, like money fall into my lap and opportunity presents itself, I'm up out of here because it's giving, I can't even park in the parking space. I gotta park on the street now. It's constant noise from literally sun up to sundown, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Like I just, yeah. So I think I'm really sleep deprived and it's, it's fucking with my mood. And one thing about me is <laughs> when I'm feeling a little bitchy, I'm feeling a little bitchy. Like, there's nothing, there's no way around it. Uh, I had to check the Flow app too, because you know, like, when you're, you know, ladies, like, this is for you, obviously. My content is for my ladies, but you guys, you're free to stay if you want. <laughs> but, um, you know, like, you know, when you're feeling moody or whatever, you're like, damn, am I PMSing? Like, am I about to come in my period? Am I ovulating? Like, we have so many things to think, to consider. So I went to my flow app today. I was like, no, now you don't even fucking ovulate until like the later half of next week. So it's just like, yeah. <laughs> Taking constant noise, constant. Couldn't take a nap if I tried. They're definitely going to be taking a substantial amount of money off of the rent because the fact that they think that this is okay is just shocking to me. So anyway, move y'all over here while I put all this stuff back. But um, yeah, y'all. So that's what I'm dealing with. Okay. Nothing 
bad necessarily, like nothing life threatening like my mom says, but annoying as fuck. And then I have these, which I've worn before, this like cute little watercolor bathing suit. But I don't want to wear that, so. Yeah. I'm just gonna wear my shorts, cause like, it's supposed to be like high 80s, 90s tomorrow, I think. So I'm still gonna take a sweatshirt and I might just pack some sweatpants or something. But in terms of the look, you know, shorts are always the way to go. So I'm gonna take the shorts. Um, I wear this cute little crop top, knitted top today. Um, super cute. At least I think it is. Just cute little chartreuse top. Um, now, that has like orange, mainly pink and yellow. Um, Y'all, uh, uh, they are still making noise. We are going to complain something fierce on Monday because, like, the thought of them doing this tomorrow, I just can't even fathom. I know y'all can see my dark circles. Like, I feel like I have not gotten any rest. Normally, I would, like, take a nap, you know, could take a nap or whatever. But, like, every time I think that they're done and I have, like, peace and quiet, they're not done. And I really feel like that they must get time and a half or some something for working on the weekend. So, they keep stopping. Like, my thing is, if their boss isn't around, who's this? You know what I mean? Like, they could just be fucking around, you know, and just here for hours to get the money. And then periodically making all that fucking racket. I'm so infuriated like five o like i the, the fact if they do this for another couple of hours i just cannot deal with it like y'all are gonna have to stop because the noise you have been doing this since seven o'clock this morning like it's it's ridiculous and the idea that to, to think that the um apartment company complex thought that they would be able to do such a massive construction all at one time limited short notice and not discount people's rent and give them co like compensation for this like it's it's just fucking it's dumb and i'm just like manifesting being able to just get out of here because like it just sucks because you know the price point is so good and everything but i just cannot I can't. You are you're taking our parking. There's there was already no amenities, but you took our parking, which we at least was great because we had like four parking spaces. Um, but yeah, I did not sign up for this, and you know I obviously work from home majority of the week. Um, I used to work from home five days a week and now I just go into the office for two days but like so three days a week I'm working from home and you know with getting trying to get my content and stuff like I'm having to I'm not able to get my content at all like I have to do things and put music over top I can't do any voiceovers unless I'm filming it at night when they're not working like it's just very just it's not what people signed up for like it really isn't I'm just beyond I'm just beyond is all I can say um, I've been trying to protect my energy because my energy has been really messed up today. Um, I just have not been feeling it. I've been like, I didn't do any of the stuff that I wanted to do today. Um, my brother kind of got a late start and he was like, you want to go get content? But, you know, by the time he wanted to go do all that stuff, it was three o'clock. Like, no, I, I'm an early type of person. Like, I like to do stuff like that, errands and content and stuff early. And then I like to go do social things in the middle of the day or at night. You know, I don't, I just can't. Yeah, I was just like, sorry, no, <laughs> I cannot. Um, so anyway, hopefully he got his content that he needs to get, but and that's the other thing because of all of this too like uh, even before this started this past week like i really haven't been in the traditional sense really feeling doing content um especially like for tiktok and stuff like the idea of it has just been utterly draining to me um just not draining but just not i don't know 
not that it's not fun. I just haven't been inspired, I guess. I haven't been inspired. So it's easy for me to post on Lemonade because like I could do pictures and they still do well. I could do video if I wanted to. I could just show a, a product and it still does well. You know what I'm saying? Versus TikTok, it has to be engaging and it has to be aesthetic and it has to, you know, and Instagram, I, I don't even like I just get my pictures when I'm going to do something fun because really that's all Instagram cares about like they're not really trying to learn nothing they're not trying to you know really engage with it like that so anyway um I really want to take a shower it's cold in my room I think I'm going to turn my air down and stuff but I really want to take a shower I'm not overly hungry right now because I would start my cooking but I kind of ate kind of late so I didn't even eat anything till about 12. I had a slice of pizza, <laughs> the little leftover slice that I had. Um, so, and then I had um, part of my little Subway sandwich that I had left over too. So um, later on around two, I guess. So, you know, it's, I don't even know what time it is. I don't think, I think it's just about to be five soon. So anyway, I think I'm looking real pale and because it's dark in here and stuff. So I am about to just wanted to catch you guys up on everything that's going on, which is basically nothing. I only left the house early this morning to go to Target. Uh, I, I will show y'all some stuff when I get out of the shower. Um, I got this bra and pair of panties from Target. They're so cute. Um, but you know I, i'm a girl so like you know what i'm saying like especially like for yourself or your significant other whatever um you know i like to have like sexy pieces and cute little things and stuff and um i've been gravitating toward red and i think it's because i was wearing i took off my nails by the way but i was wearing my red press on nails and i was really feeling it so now all of a sudden i'm like gravitating toward red so i got a red little bra situation um not an actual bra that you wear under clothes but like it's trying to be like a skims dupe it really is um so i got a red like sports bra bralette sort of thing and then some red panties so i'll show y'all that in a little bit but um yeah i'm gonna go shower try my new body wash i'm really excited about one thing about me anything new that i have i'm gonna use it because i'm very like i'm very much like my grandmother where she was just like yeah don't wait to wear your stuff don't save something for a special occasion wear your stuff drink your stuff eat your stuff like do all your stuff like you know what i'm saying enjoy it so I just bought a body wash from Target earlier that I was raving about on my Instagram stories. Um, it smells incredible. Like it smells like somebody will just like want to eat your whole skin. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you smell like a cake. Um, it's the Cinnamon Dolce body wash from Tree Hut. And I'm going to pair it with my Trader Joe's pumpkin body scrub. Y'all, my bathroom is about to smell immaculate. So it's your girl. Um, it is Sunday the 20th. 21st I think I think it's the 21st 20 no it's just the 22nd duh the 22nd um I do need to spray I forgot to do it when I first got out the shower spray my perfume on my skin anyway um whew, we are about to make up our bed and stuff I'm probably not gonna film it because I need to film it for Instagram so this is why you have to follow me on all of my different platforms because some things you're going to see and some things you're not, okay? Um, so I'm going to film this for Instagram and get ready. Um, I have my breakfast cooking. I ordered a breakfast sandwich, but I'm just cooking a hash brown to go with it just so I can have something on my stomach. I'm going to stop by 7-Eleven and get a few snacks for the beach because today is beach bombs with my girls. Um, a bunch of ladies that I met last month. You guys saw that in the last vlog. Um, this is the second one. So I'm going to head to Torrance, California, which is about an hour away from me. Um, and we're going to hang with the ladies for a couple hours. So that's not until 3 o'clock. So I'll probably leave around 2 um, and I'll stop by 7-Eleven before that. So by 1.30, we might be out the house. Um, and it's not even 11 yet. I think it's like 10 something. So anyway, let me get to it. Just wanted to pop on here and say, hey, new nails, period. I just did them this morning. Um, if it'll focus. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, I got my swimsuit and stuff ready for that. I'm just about to make up my bed and get my day started. I'm looking crazy. Oh, I really need to get myself together. 
I swear I'll be looking cute in my vlogs. I just, I don't know. Y'all just, this is like, to me, like, the vlogs are just an, uh, this is moving today, by the way. I keep always pointing out, all of this is moving, okay? My brother's taking his dresser out of here. All of his shoes are leaving. I'm having company today. My friend is coming over, and she's going to help me um, cut my, alter my um, Halloween costume. So, yeah. And I just wanted a clean house. So I've been nesting. <laughs> I have been cleaning like crazy. Because I don't know. Like first impressions is the first time I'm having her over. And like it's nothing like major. Like I know she wouldn't. Like you know. I'm just saying. Like I just like things to be hospitable. And you know. I really take pride in my home. And I like when people say. Oh it smells good in here. Oh it's so clean. Oh it's beautiful. You know. Like it just makes me. Yeah. It makes me feel good. So um, I really need to go out. It's kind of early. I might go out in a little bit. I don't know. I got to see what my brother wants to do. We might go out and go get him a Halloween situation. So I may stop by Trader Joe's and maybe get some crackers and cheese and a little bottle of wine or something like that. Um, yeah, just so we can like vibe out and stuff. Because um, I just want to thank her for doing that. Like she's taking her time out of her evening to come all the way over here after work and um, and do that for me. I didn't ask. She offered. And I just thought that was so sweet. So anyway, I've basically been nesting and working all day. I've mopped all the entire apartment. Uh, my room, my bathroom, living room, kitchen, hallways, and all that stuff. So I vacuumed, mopped, I dusted. Um, I cleaned my bath, deep cleaned my bathroom, like deep, deep, deep cleaned my bathroom. Because um, you just never know. Like your guests may need to use the restroom and different things and want to, you know, go into your bedroom and stuff like that. The only thing that I haven't done yet is laundry because I have to get some quarters to do so. And um, that's a whole thing by itself. Like I just... The laundry thing will more than likely happen on like Sunday, maybe, because um, I'm just not in the mood. So um, literally like one of the things that I'm going to pay for convenience wise is a house cleaner. So a housekeeper. Um, and then maybe if the housekeeper doesn't mind or I don't know if I have to hire somebody separately, but somebody to do my laundry. Like I know that sounds very like, why can't you do your own? I can, but that's a convenience that I'm willing to that's what I'm willing to pay for out of convenience, I guess is what I would say. Um, because like, I like to clean my house and stuff like that, but the deep cleans take me out. Like, and it takes me very long versus like a professional, like they would get it done, you know what I mean? Cause they do it for their profession. Um, yeah, so anyway. Um, and really like in terms of like intimate wear and stuff like that, cause some people are like, ew, you're gonna have people like in your life. Y'all, like, I don't be wearing clothes like that. Like, mine are single piece things, dresses and stuff like that. What, a bra you might wear that's an intimate piece? All of my lounge wear, like, nothing. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't get gross and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care that the person would be watching my laundry. Like, they are professional. So, they're used to all, probably all sorts of crazy things. But mine wouldn't be crazy. But, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I don't know how we got here. Three minutes in. Um, happy Thursday, you guys. I have some tickets to a party tonight. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to go or if I just want to go to the party on Saturday. Um, but I really feel like I need to do a couple of things this week in this weekend. I am off tomorrow, so I'm very excited about that. Y'all, I think that they might be, fingers crossed, I think that they might be done with this part of the construction or i don't know why i think that but they basically haven't been here since this morning no noise and i have to tell you like it's just so refreshing to not have the constant drilling and hammering and banging and all that type of stuff so um good morning y'all it's 10 47 a.m on friday the 20 don't get me lying it's gonna be on the screen <laughs> um I'm looking like I just woke up, but that's not the case. Your girl is off for the next couple of days, Monday, Tuesday, today, and Monday and Tuesday. So I don't go back to work basically until Wednesday. Um, we need to go get some quarters, y'all, because I need to wash some clothes. Um, so I need to put on some clothes. Hold on. Um, anyway. Um okay so your girl needs to put on some clothes that's what we're getting we're getting don't talk to me but yeah that's literally fine with me 
We're going to spray on some. We're going to spray on some perfume. Call it a day. Yeah, I'm watching y'all. I don't know what y'all out there doing, sweetie. No clue. People be having their dogs shooting right here. Alright. Yeah. Lord. My thing fell. I don't know what. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. So. see here let me get my nail glue before this nail pops off and this is the last nail of this size that I have that is one of my critiques though I will admit is that I always feel like they give you a ton of the smaller ones like the smaller nail sizes I'm making a fucking mess but never enough of the big nail sizes like that I don't understand have to use this receipt because I got nail glue all over me. Okay. I was like, damn, I thought I had um man that sucks. I have a $50 bill and I thought that I had two fives that maybe I spent them. Don't y'all hate that? I have some quarters in here, but it's not enough. So I hate to break this $50 bill right now. Damn. Well, I'm going to have to. So. We are going to have to. A lot of people walking in the strip right now so in my neighborhood um i guess every, well not every neighborhood has it but like i live in an area where um like you saw how quickly i got to where i am right now um there's a main strip with like tons of restaurants and bars and uh, stores grocery stores all that type of stuff so um like Cheesecake Factory is down there, the mall is down there, or one of the malls are down there. Um, and lots of restaurants and stuff. Yeah, so there's just a lot of people for 11 o'clock on a Friday just walking around. Uh, let's make sure that wasn't my brakes, but I think that's Homeboy's brakes. <sighs> oh, this is the first time I've seen that they have scooters. Wow. That's so crazy. Normally, they don't have scooters over here. That's all my sister wants to do when she <laughs> goes to, comes here is get on a scooter. Really and truly, though, you just fare better buying your own electric scooter because those damn things are expensive. They look pricey. Damn. Get over. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, y'all. I don't know why they 
here just carrying on a full on conversation. <laughs> just chilling, like. Ooh, people cannot fucking drive. Like, it's one thing about being cautious. I get that, okay? But just, you're just not, you're not driving. <laughs> How did you get your driver's license? I just, I really want to know. Did somebody take the test for you? Now that bus knows goodness well they could have let me go. Especially when there's a whole bus line. Thank you. Yeah, get your ass over there. Because you really could have let me go, sweetie. <laughs> this is why I've been in a house with it, y'all. I literally, like... And this is also, though, I need to task myself with, like, Casey, you're on vacation, you need to get out. But between me losing my parking space, which is not that big of a deal, just find another parking space. Like, it's just my anxiety about it. And then also, the drivers, like, I just be wanting to stay in the house with it. Like, if it's not for a quick destination or purpose, your girl is in the crib. <sighs> Let me slow down and pay attention, child. Almost... I don't even want to speak it. What is going on? Like, child. You're breaking. He's breaking. Only bike and bus. Well, it's a car lane today, sweets. It's a car lane. Because I don't know why they're doing that. Only bike and bus lane. Because half the time, riddle me this then. Then why does the bus get to be in the regular lane and the bikes too? Like, mm, no. I don't agree with that. I really need to go to Ulta, but that's going to have to wait. Um, because I need some more curly hair products. I really am like scraping the barrel of my curly cream. Um, which is also why I have not been like why I put on a cap today because I didn't want to waste products like for the past Week or more I've been like doing my hair and putting my products in and then not going anywhere not getting content or whatever like um, I obviously had to put in my products to go to work and stuff One of the days I chose not to though like I just put some conditioner in and didn't put my curl custard in from pattern I use pattern by the way um, in terms of my curly stuff um, I use Cantu leave-in because I mean I could I mean the pattern one is cool but it gets a little pricey and $5.99 versus $25 or $45 for the big jar like I mean I don't know the only thing that I paid $45 on is the curl custard the big jumbo one because I, I need it you know I use it all the time <laughs> 